Good morning, wherever you are, my valuable viewers. It's yet another beautiful, beautiful, beautiful morning that we are here today to give you what you truly deserve, which is nothing but great, great content. I know you are busy in what you are doing. I know you hustle so much to get your daily bread and also have money in your pocket. But wait a minute. Let me ask you a simple question, my valuable viewers. What is it that makes you wake up every morning? Where do you get the strength and motivation? to do what you are doing each and every morning. Maybe it's because you like what you are doing, or maybe the circumstances have made you to do what you are doing at that moment, simply because you have no options and you have got nothing else you can do apart from what you are doing. Now, let me take you through today's video. Many of you may have seen the topic or the heading of this particular, or the title of this particular video. I want to ask you, my valuable viewers, is it possible for you to redefine your purpose? Is it possible that you can direct, redirect your energy so that you may achieve your full potential? Yes, it is possible. Ladies and gentlemen, the reason as to why you keep on living on this planet Earth is perhaps maybe you have not lived to your full potential. It's because maybe you will still have some dreams which you are yet to achieve. Welcome and thank you so much for always tuning into your most favorite online TV channel. This is definitely Public Desire Media TV and I'm your host, Julius. For those of you who are watching this channel for the very first time, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for tuning into this channel. This is the only channel that you need to watch each and every time you want to have exact, accurate, specific and relevant content that is geared towards making you a better person in whatever you do. As you can see from my background, I'm in my village. I want to showcase the best that this particular place can offer. In my last video, I showed you that it is possible to own land here. It is possible to own this land. You can have land where you can do your agricultural activities, as you can see. And you can also own land here in my village and settle the way others have done, have done here. Now, today's video, I want to particularly showcase one individual. Who, did, who defined his life by res, reshaping his dreams so that he can achieve the full potential of what he wants to achieve in life. Now, my valuable viewers, I will request you to continue staying on this channel. Watch this particular video right from the beginning until the tail end so that you can realize why I'm saying that it is possible for you to redefine your life and also do more to achieve your desired dreams. Now, I want you to join me right from the beginning of this particular video until the tail end and enjoy nothing but great, great content. This is the route which I'm going to that particular direction. The gentleman stays a little bit far, around uh, two kilometers where I stay. Now, it's supporting me now to give you what I promised you when I was starting this particular channel. I promise to my valuable viewers that I'll not give you something which is not great. And it is for that particular purpose that I've taken this long, long route to give you what you truly desire. So stay with me. Let's enjoy this particular video together. As you can see from this particular video, you can see that my area is rich with the eucalyptus trees. I'd showcased this earlier that you can do this kind of agroforest in my area and earn a living. It's all a matter of uh, putting money in the pocket and having food on the table. It's not a race against each other, but it's a race against poverty. So as you enjoy this particular video, you also take advantage of watching what can be done here to make you earn a living. As you can see, this area so does see so the well eucalyptus trees when, you when harvested after 10 years. Or 15 can grown. give you good, good, good amount of money. Trees. You can do this business here. But these are yet to be harvested. So they are around uh, 6 to 7 years old. If you leave them up to 10 to 15 years, you can be sure of a great, great, good harvest. So my viewers, I want you to learn something here. In my region, you can do both agricultural activities. At the same time, can also do agroforestry. All these are towards making you rich. All these are geared towards making 
you achieve your full potential. You can have money in your pocket. At the same time, feed your family. So enjoy great, great content. I've taken around 20 to 40 minutes now walking towards this particular place. I'm yet to reach the destination. So I'm here giving you what you truly de they deserve, which is nothing that uh, you get content. You can see the rivers, the water is flowing freely. I told you that my area is rich with the water. So there's no shortage of water here. So enjoy watching. Stay tuned. Watch this content until the tail end. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have actually reached a uh, destination. Now, I want to give my, my guest an opportunity to introduce himself so that he may take us through what he does and what is actually involved in at the right moment. Right now, as we speak, he's here with me. Now, without taking much of your time, let me give you the opportunity to uh, meet my guest. So, uh, my friend, kindly take this opportunity to introduce yourself to my audience. Thank you. My name is Michael Ocheng. Yes. Now, From Michael Ocheng, thank you so much for, first of all, inviting me here. Yes. Now, I'm the guest and you are the host. <laughs> I've You're changed welcome. the role. You're welcome. Now, I want you to briefly tell us what you do and uh, which is, what is your profession, maybe. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, a professional clearing and forwarding uh, Okay. agent oh yes i have done clearing and forwarding for the past more than I mean, for the more for more than 10 years okay i'm also a professional driver That's more good. than 15 years okay yes so oh, more than 15 years they all uh, accumulated together yes now what do you do right now at the moment and now that you're in the village i don't think you are doing clearing and forwarding no i don't do clearing and forwarding yes now. yes as a result of uh, so many activities that, ha that happened in the past, yeah. uh, one of them is COVID-19. Oh, yes. Yes, that uh, really led to laying off of so many employee employees. I was, I was an employee oh, yes. in one of the companies, shipping companies in Mombasa. Oh, yes. So it reached a point uh, the company couldn't pay us. Okay. And uh, as a result, we were laid off. Uh, apparently, at the moment, um, I started farming. Okay. Yes, as you can see, we I have see. a couple of breeds here. Oh, yes. This is a cross breed of Aisha. Okay. And, uh, and we have also... Oh, this one has, has gone to the maize yes. farm. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's okay. Let's pull together. Thank what? you for the help. It is one of the toughest here. What? 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 <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I don't think I can do it. Eh? You are so strong. Yeah, I'm you used mean? to it. <laughs> In this field, you need to be tough because they so weigh strong. They weigh more than 200 kgs. This is also a crossbreed of uh, Frisian. Okay. Yeah. This is a crossbreed of Frisian and. Frisian and. Uh, Wow, and so jazzy. good. Jazzy. Yes. And uh, this one, other one? This one is Aisha. Aisha. A cross breed, almost three quarters. Oh, yes? Yes, it's, it's a nice one. Oh, yes. And uh, the other one is yeah. the this young one, one of this one. 
Okay. This is the first video. Oh, well, this one? Yes. Okay, so when did you start doing this uh, dairy farming here? I so this is the mother to this one? No, 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 to the other one. The brown little young young man. Oh, young man. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's a, a little, I mean, a young bull. Yes. Just about to, you know, oh, yes. be mature. We mature. Yeah. And so when preparing for, you know, okay. for breeding around here. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so the, this one. Okay. Is the young one of this one. Okay, this is the mother to, the, mother to the, other one. the other one. Okay. Yes. So when I know you, you asking why yeah. they are all crossbreed. <laughs> yeah, why are they crossbreed? <laughs> <laughs> we prefer crossbreed because uh, they are hardy. Oh yes. And they are uh, resistant to the common diseases. Oh yes, around yeah. here. Yeah, like this one, I've never seen it attacked by ECF. ECF is the East Coast fever. East Coast fever. Yes, this one we we just treated last month. Oh yes, because uh, there was a little bit of delay. Oh, the yeah. guy that was supposed to be to spray the veterinary on officer, time, yeah, oh, yeah. He didn't come, so it wasn't sprayed on, on time. Oh yeah. Today I just washed them with the, okay. with the you know, anti tick. Anti tick. What do you call that? Uh, you tell me you are the expert. Yeah, expert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it's a spray that you know. Prevent them from getting getting attacked. So how did you manage to do that paradigm shift? Uh, you are clearing and forwarding officer based in Mombasa doing uh, clear and forwarding agent work, and you just came back home and settled on this. How did you manage this for the sake of those who are watching you? For the sake of those who are watching, how possible is it? How difficult it is? Okay, uh, it is not an easy choice to make. Yes. Uh, first of all, when you have this kind of stock. Okay. It, this is a full-time employment. Oh, yes. You are not even supposed to be moved. Out of this place. Yes, because first of all, they feed. They feed more than... One can feed more than 25 kilos of grass. Just one cow. Wow. Yes. So it means you have to be constantly so, present. Yes. Busy feeding them, spraying them, and, uh, you know... Okay. Checking, taking care of the, the cleaning, cleanliness so, of the place they stay. So, how many did you start with? If you you started with one or two or we started with this one. This one. Yes, this is very stubborn. Maybe you yeah, can change. Yeah, very can stubborn. I'll just somewhere. move it somewhere. Let us do it. Yeah. Then, then we brought this other one. Yeah. Yes. This, this is kind of the second we, one. Yes, this one. Yeah. The reason why we brought it in because it's a nice breed. You can see the product. Oh, this is the product. Yes. This, this is the, 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 the child yes, now. Yes. The sun. Yes. Okay, let me zoom the sun. People have a look yes, at it. Yes, and uh, at the moment, nice, you're, very still, nice. you're still milking. Okay. Yes. And so you are having your own milk here. Exactly. I don't buy milk. Oh. It okay. is not, you asked me a question. It yeah. is not easy mm. to shift from okay. whatever your profession you were doing mm. to this, kind you of, know, okay. this kind of... Uh, uh, I mean, organization. Okay. It requires, uh, you know, a, uh, a decision that you you, you decide okay. fully that you now want to get engaged into okay. something else instead of okay. being somewhere doing nothing. The reason why also I I had to see a shift because it reached a point I was getting depressed. I I battled depression and I I didn't like it. I have a family to take care of. So I just decided to settle here okay. and work on this as a result to keep, you know, mm. and to get the, da the, the daily, daily bread. Daily bread yeah. Now I know, Mr. Uchen, somebody might be, might be, might be interested yeah. in doing what you are doing today. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can advise that particular person, mm -hmm. a fresher, let me, let me call them a fresher from one or even the first years. <laughs> somebody <laughs> might be interested. Might be what interested. kind of uh, details should somebody have? Some knowledge, what kind of knowledge? The knowledge uh, the fresher should have is the breed, first of all. The amount of food, the feed that they require as a stock, each cow. Because health is one of the, the most critical things you need to, to look into. Okay. If you take a, a pure breed... Like this one now. No, this is a crossbreed. This is a crossbreed. Yes. The reason why we go for the crossbreed is because...
because of I said yeah. they are hardy and resistant. Yes. So that is one of the things you need to check. And secondly, if you want to go for the hybrid, I mean pure breed, then in that case you need some good capital. Okay. And time. ranging from Kenya shilling 60, 70, 000, 000. How much should somebody think of when we are intending want, to venture into if this? If you want a pure breed, you will need at least 70,000 shillings. Kenya shillings. Yes. 70,000 70, 70, shillings viewers, for those who are working in diaspora, yes. you can convert that into dollars. Yes. One dollar is equivalent to 140 shillings. So yes. you can do your mathematics. Mm -hmm. You can get how much it, it, is, in, it is in terms of dollars. Mm -hmm. Now that uh, you have told us yes. how and to the, start. And that the, one will only cut off for the young one. The infrastructure now. Not, yes. Not, now. Not a grown... Not we a have grown fully grown yes so how about, how about the shelter the shelter you need to construct a, a shade a very nice shade okay because it comes a time when the weather is not good when it's rainy they can really they get stressed oh yes these cows don't need stress oh yes so you take care of uh, the shade and uh, cleanliness and make sure you have their feeding trough is okay. also well constructed oh yes contain their meal okay let us have a look at where the shed is so that somebody who is interested in uh, having this kind of uh, business mm -hmm. can also construct the same okay. and also at the same time also see i've seen you have done the honing come and explain to okay. my viewers okay. what is what is the advantage of the honing the bulls or the calf even the cows there are no horns here there are no horns. what is the advantage of having the advantages uh, of having them the horn yes we actually do the budding it's called the budding the budding oh yes. sorry you cut it when it's still young okay yes the advantage is uh it it helps the cow i mean there is a lot of nutrients that is wasted on the horn oh yeah yes that is supposed to be utilized in the body why well, so, i get it now yes you find in most cases like this other one wasn't debarded oh this one it was not yes oh, okay so the nutrients that is used okay that is supposed to be going to the horn yeah is supposed to help build know, the help, body it'll help the body Okay. For growth, especially it's it's full of calcium and other nutrients. So the purpose of the budding is to prevent it to get it more calcium in the body, yes. which can help it also to prevent more diseases. Exactly. If I get you right. Yes. Okay. And, uh, and also helps in the, the, the teeth. The teeth. Teeth. Yes. Okay. The teeth is also a very important part of the the animal. Okay. Because they use it to grace to crash okay. you know their feed now let us walk to the shelter yeah. you also teach some people who are watching okay. for the first time okay okay so this is the the shed this viewers the shed. okay let yeah. us walk inside yes yeah. mm. as you can see okay i want to do the cleaning now okay yeah so these droppings uh, do you have any value in the cow drop cow dung here well we don't even waste a piece Okay, there's look, no wastage. Look at the collection point. point yes. Yes. Oh, well, this is the yes. this is the cow dung which which you collect and uh, we collect it. Okay. Take it there, the chamber. So you reuse these droppings. Yes. Okay. However much grass you use to feed them, it's okay. still recycled. Nothing goes to waste. That's good. Yes. So this is now. I know this is small for the four. Yes. Mm. Actually, for the three because for the three the the young one still. I've got some room somewhere. Okay. Yes. So they are here. Yes. So viewers, you have to watch this carefully. This is their trough. Where you put uh, the grass and everything. Okay. Yes. Water point. Point. Water point. Water point. Where Water they, point. they drink. No, I, I just bring with the containers some. Okay. I oh, have, that's, this is the, good. The, the tank here. This is good. This is what you call the rainwater harvesting. Yes, we harvest water and. Uh, Mm. We, I just carried some bucket of okay. basin. Show us around this uh, water point. Okay. Mm. Here. So this is where you collect 
this is it. This okay. is the tap. Okay. Yeah, I even have the sieve. Okay. Yeah, it, 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 I, I, I need to give them clean water. So basically, they have to get clean water. Clean right? water. Yes. So viewers, if you are interested in doing this kind of uh, business, you, first of all, you have to make sure that you, na you have enough enough water yes. for them and also the where they are going to the shelter which you have actually been shown. Yes. Now I'd like you to take us where you take these uh, cow droppings, cow dung. Yes. How do you collect them then later on reuse them? The manure, they said we collect them here. Okay. To decompose. Okay. After decomposition. Okay. We take them down there. So this is where they put there for yes. the for the collection point. Then the collection point. Then from there now. Then from here we take them down to this this plot. Okay. We cultivate. Okay, let us see there. Yes, we just harvested maize. It yeah. was a nice harvest. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Lord that. You can see quality bananas. All these are because of the because of the cow the cow droppings. Yes. Wow, this is very quality. Yeah. It's quality. So this is where you bring them. Yeah. Or you cast scatter them all over the it the field. Depends. Yeah. If, if I need a, a large batch okay. for this plot, mm -hmm. then I preserve for this plot. Okay. I bring it all mm -hmm. and dump it here and spread. All these uh, bananas and are as a result of the cow droppings. Exactly. Very fresh. Very smart. Okay. I just cut one yesterday. You can see the. Oh yeah. The stalk is the right stalk, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. A very big one, like almost, <laughs> almost five feet. Okay, that's <laughs> yes. very nice. Yes. So this one you worked on it today. This is this very one fresh. I did yesterday. Okay, very yes. fresh, very fresh, very fresh, very fresh. Then we have uh, another plot down. Okay, here. let's let's have a look at it. Yes. We also have some mango trees here. Oh yeah. And we just all this because of the cow droppings that yes. you bring over here. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can see you have collected some here. If, yeah, this is now for the preparation of this, uh, the, the seedlings here. We okay. have onions already in the nursery. Oh yeah. Yes. So this is an, yes. an nursery Onion. for onions. Yes. So you intend to plant them over here. Exactly. We've already tilled this land. We have to. We are waiting for this maize to dry up. Then okay. we do a whole of this plot here. Yeah. Then take the whole of this. Spread it down, I mean over there. Over there. Yes, and make some nice, nice uh, arrows. Arrows. Okay. For the, for the onions. That's good. Yes. So we how rarely we rarely use uh, other uh, you know shop fertilizers. artificial fertilizers. Yes. The most company made. Most of the time, okay. most of the time we use the organic fertilizer manure. So all this, you, all this time you have doing, you have been doing uh, that dairy farming at the same time you're doing this crop yes. production. Yes. So the benefits you get from <clears throat> this kind of uh, activity just mm -hmm. share with my viewers the benefits. the benefits yeah i don't buy milk i don't buy maize i don't buy vegetables all of this we just get it from this plot oh, wow. I, nice. I don't buy onions look at that oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> how much would you save per year Lots of money. Yes, I also pay school fees for my my two sons. Wow. I have two sons. Wow. I pay school fees. It is now stress free. I don't pay rent here because this is home. So, now I've just seen groundnuts. Yes. Oh, groundnuts. This, this is just a, a little <laughs> groundnuts. Yes, this is just a little, you know. Wow. Demonstration. So these because are. You it's... can see this is the next project. I have a plot down there. We are going to I see have, that next. I have tilled the land. Yeah, that is the next project. You are going to I'm going to plant plant all of groundnuts. Yes, okay. purely pure groundnuts. Down there, a very large piece of land. Now, for somebody yes, it's about who, a half an acre. For somebody who might be just turn over this yes. this side. <clears throat> for somebody who might be interested yes. For somebody who might be interested now to venture, leave alone the dairy farming we have just. Uh, concluded mm -hmm. for farming here yes what are some of the things which somebody must consider who wants to become a full-time farmer in crop production crop production yeah first of all you need to know the the type of uh, the breed the, the the seeds you want to plant okay the type of crop you want to plant the diseases okay. that affect them and, uh, and uh, the pesticides necessary okay for the you know prevention of 
these diseases and pests. Okay. okay. Yes, those are some of the things you need to know. And, uh, then you need, you need to, you also need to know the the type of soil. Okay. That is the the pH. That is especially when you are applying your fertilizers. Yeah, you just don't get, go to the shop and buy fertilizer. And, no, it doesn't work like that. You need to know the soil pH. Okay. So who's going to do that for you in case I'm a layman? Assuming that I'm a layman, I don't <laughs> know even what the meaning of the pH is. <laughs> oh. Assuming that I don't know anything. Okay. Now who's okay, going to do all that for me? Okay. We okay. have we have a special, you know, uh, agricultural officer officers around here. Okay. That takes care of that. Okay. Soil pH actually pH is the power of hydrogen. Power of for hydrogen. Those who did chemistry. Yeah, yeah, yes. I know. So you need to know the level of all the the, the acidity and the basic level of the soil. Okay. So that when you apply fertilizers, you you do it correctly okay. without messing up. Yes. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Thank you. As we uh, wind up this uh, interesting interview, yes. I want us to go. I've seen some beehives around here. Okay. Let us go there and see oh. what happens there. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Yes. So this is the bush here. Yeah. We have uh, the the bees project okay. we normally harvest honey we have in this at this point we have four hives okay and we have two hives up there so okay. we know yes up there okay, just seen. where I'm, I'm pointing okay. at i've seen that. yes we have six hives okay. and uh, monthly we i mean uh, per harvest we normally make around three to five liters of pure honey. Wow. Yes. That's and very that nice. one we sell per liter and a half liter. Liter is uh, is around ten dollars. That okay. is that is a thousand bob. A thousand. One liter is a thousand bob. Okay. We are not going to make noise here because okay, let us leave. the guys are always <laughs> very sensitive. Very sensitive. Once <laughs> we make noise they'll come yes, to attack they'll us. Come and attack us. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, yes. so, uh, so this is uh, another piece of land for ready for, for the plantation of uh, groundnuts. Okay. Some call it peanut. Okay. Yes. So all this piece of land for one person. How did you manage this? Or you had some laborers? <laughs> yes, from so from the cash I make from uh, honey selling. Okay. You know, I, I spread these proceeds. Okay. Sometimes I hire someone to assist me to come to, I mean, to till the land. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes if I want to, you know, to save some money, I just come here like I did this. This one I did myself. Wow, oh, this, this is a hard job. Imagine. Viewers, you, just watch this old piece of land. Because if, if you hire someone to do this, yes. you have to pay them for the, you know, cutting down the shrubs. Roots, the shrub. Yeah. But this one I did, I decided to do it myself because they wouldn't do cutting it. Cutting cost. Nobody, yeah. Cutting cost and then I just wanted to do it the way I want to do it. That's good, that's yeah. good. Let us take us through this farm. It's a big piece of land. Yeah, it's a big piece of land. There's another plot down there. So all this you want to plant uh, peanuts or groundnuts? Yeah. Okay. Purely groundnuts. That's very good. Yeah. Why can't you try cassava? You don't like putting cassava, cassava. here. Well, this kind of soil, uh, cassava can also do well. Yeah, it's a nice one for cassava as well, but I I have decided to do groundnuts. Because That's of, good. Because of the output. Okay. Yeah, if I sell like around 90 kgs, do you know how much that is? I don't know. Oh, that, that's around, um, that's around uh, almost $500. Wow. Yes. Wow. That's Almost good man. $500. So you are a rich guy. I'm talking to a rich guy here. <laughs> if I can make 90 kgs here. <laughs> I love some nice food. <laughs> <laughs> that's very, very good. Yeah. So that's very good. Yes. Mm. Let's go. So viewers, as you can see from my background and the entire place here, mm -hmm. the gentleman has in, decided to engage himself here and do some piece of work. Yes. Sometimes when you do this kind of work ourselves, we cut costs and also get the feeling how it is done. My valuable viewers, I hope you are enjoying this particular video. Don't forget to like this particular video up to this moment. I would like to know what you think in your comment section. Don't forget also to comment. And remember to keep your comments as respectful as possible because this is 
somebody's business and never know who might be reading on the comments. Now, I want you to learn something here, my valuable viewers. As you all know that Public Bizarre Media TV mm -hmm. is the only channel that gives you the opportunity to watch and enjoy exact, accurate, specific, and relevant content that gives you the right time to learn something. Now, see, from here, <laughs> right from down there, the gentleman engaged himself to work up to this place, and then the entire, entire place here mm -hmm. has been working using his own hands. Know that if you don't soil your hands, that is a sure way of remaining poor. I told you that there's no shortcut to success, but there's a sure way of becoming poor. When you sit down, wait for somebody to help you, that is a sure bet of how to become poor. Now, the gentleman has engaged himself. We are still on this particular content. Don't forget to like it. Share it as many, as, as many times as possible so that somebody else can learn something from my content. Let's continue. Now, uh, mister, as we end up this particular very, very interesting uh, content and uh, interview, let me ask you one message. If you are given an opportunity to pass a message, what kind of message would you like to pass to your fellow youth? Okay, uh, to the, my fellow youth, uh, you don't need to stay somewhere and get depressed, suffer because of fear to, to switch whatever you've been doing. You just decide and take a, a first a quick switch and do something that is going to help you instead of staying somewhere depressed. Depression remember kills. I have a couple of friends who have been, you know, who have passed on because of depression. Some are dying in drugs and abdomen and substance. So that is my best message I can give them. Maybe somebody is watching this particular content and it was also laid off during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Yes. It's now currently jobless in urban centers. Yes. What benefit have you seen since you moved <coughs> into rural areas to engage in what you are doing? Just pass a clear message to that kind of person. Okay. You that person who have been laid off or maybe don't have a job who is jobless please if you have a plot or some land somewhere you can cultivate and uh, do something plant something rare something you can even keep you can keep a uh, chicken it's a good investment you can change from that particular position you are when whatever you're going through now, you can do something. I've seen you don't buy a lot of things you just get from the farm. Yes, like yeah. I, I don't buy onions, that's one. I don't buy vegetables. I don't buy... Uh, what do you call those? I, uh, uh, cassava. cassava. I, I don't buy bananas. The bananas. I have plenty of them right there. You can imagine if you can cultivate your own, how much would you save per year? That's good. I'm paying the school fees for my kids, and I don't pay rent. You can imagine. So that is one of the one of the biggest reliefs I have as a, as a parent. That's the good. Yes. That's good. Now, uh, that's very very inspirational and motivating. Yes. Now I want you to pass another message to those who are willing to be in this kind of uh, venture that you are doing. Somebody might be interested. Right. Just pass a, a message to those kind of people who are watching this content. Okay. For those who are interested in this particular activity, that is farming, if you have a piece of land and maybe you have some capital, if you don't have capital, you can do it yourself with your own hands. If you don't have money to pay, someone to do the work for you you don't fear you get out of the fear and just do it and move and trust me after one year you won't be stressed at all thank you yes that's a good message also yes. now i know there are people who are watching and they are government officials yes they are maybe from the minister of agriculture or even those people whom we call the, they have the 
the entrepreneurial fund, uh, fund yes. with them. They're the custodians of the funds which are supposed to, to reach those people who need them, like you, who are doing farming and also agricultural activities. Kindly pass a message to the government official, the government of Kenya. To the government of Kenya and the yeah. Ministry of Agriculture and any cooperative society that is responsible for funding the agricultural sector and youth development, yeah. we personally I request that you support whatever you have here in the grassroots grassroot levels. You give us the loans that we can pay. You okay. give us the grace period that we can work and collect this money, invest more, and pay back. Thank so you. So that we can grow and get out of the stress. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for that. Viewers, uh, you have heard for yourself. You have watched the entire video. I hope you like this particular video. And I want you, my valuable viewers, to learn something from here. You may be seated somewhere thinking that now I'm finished thinking that there's nothing I can do with myself. I've just lost my job, I'm just be, I've just been laid off, or maybe you are a victim of the COVID-19 pandemic. You have seen this particular video. You have seen how the gentleman did what we call the paradigm shift. He was once doing white collar job. He was involved in an office environment where he was doing his clearing and shipping job. And he changed his mind and now is doing totally different in whatever you have just seen. Remember, he has taught us a few things. He does not buy his own food. He pays his school fees from what he has, is doing. He is comfortably living in his rural home, his land. And these are the kind of things which stress majority of youth who go to the urban centers to seek greener pastures. Thank you so much for watching this particular video right from the beginning until the tail end. It cannot be better than this. We did our best. This is the best that we could provide today. And I want you to learn one thing, that Public Desire Media TV is the only channel that gives you the opportunity to watch and enjoy exact, accurate, specific, and relevant content that is geared to us making you a greater person. Now, let's meet in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to this awesome channel. My name is Julius. Bye-bye.